All right, in this video, let's discuss about the all new notification panel on this well refined One UI 4.0 based on Android 12. There is a lot going on in this section which is worth talking about, so let me start with the animation on this panel here. As you can see, there is a bunch of notifications from various applications which includes messages, WhatsApp chats, social media notifications, shopping apps, and system apps. When we pull or swipe the notification screen, we can see this bounce animation at the top and the bottom of the screen which gives it a very cool visual effect. Even when you scroll the notifications, we have this smooth scrolling effect which looks nice. Now let's expand a particular notification here. You see that is a nice transition and animation effect right there and even this swipe left or right animation is really nice. There is a lot of work done by the developers in this section for sure. Now, before we see more on this panel, if you love what you're seeing here, consider subscribing to the channel. Like target for this video is about 500. Be sure to smash that like button as well. Now let's move on. If you can notice this, we have messages and chats in a separate section in gray background and rest of the notifications are segregated from the upper section in this gray background again. So the chats are always on top, which is thoughtfully done. You can either expand multiple messages at once by tapping this arrow or by swiping this entire section. About five messages will open up here. Then we have buttons to delete, mark as red, view, snooze, and open the messages on a pop-up window or bubble. This icon here lets you open these messages in a pop-up window. However, this icon is not available for all the notifications. These options change depending on the application. For example, on WhatsApp notification, we get options like reply, mark as red, or snooze. On a shopping app notification, we can snooze. On a YouTube notification, we can play on TV or turn off the notification. On Netflix, we have watch, download, my list. So it changes for every application depending on the functions they offer. Now to access further notification settings, we can just press and hold on a notification to see options like deliver quietly or turn off notification for that particular app permanently. Furthermore, you can just press and hold on it for long to open the application in a pop-up window. That is just fantastic, isn't it? The notification panel is a very important part of the user interface which we keep checking every now and then and we always expect this to be very intuitive. Samsung seems to have done a great job refining this whole experience here. Even though it is not perfect, it is almost there. By the way, that is just my opinion. I would like to know from you, what do you think about this all new notification panel? Is there any feature you want Samsung to add? Do share your thoughts in the comment section below. And while you do that, don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button as well. That's about it. That's all I wanted to share in this video. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye. Thank you.